Hi, I'm Dan from Well Manager. We're in our test lab right now to talk about our newest product, the Well Watcher. I want to go over some of the features of the Well Watcher with you, along with some of the accessories that are available, and just a brief discussion on installation of this newest device that we've recently come out with. The system platform is very similar to what we presently build, our Well Manager. It's a 210 gallon tank, USD rated, along with our half horsepower 10 gallon a minute pressure pump and our consistent pressure module that delivers great pressure to your home with a consistent pressure of 60 PSI through about five gallons a minute and up to 10 gallons a minute at around 55 PSI. It does a great job on pressure for the home. The heart of the well watcher system is our cycle sense device. It's looking at your well pump current. As you can see on here now, the well pump is not running, so it's displaying zero current. But when that well pump comes on, for a typical 220 volt half horsepower pump, you might see a current reading of three or four amps. So it continually looks at that current level. If for any reason we run the well pump dry, the current level would drop. We've preset this for a drop level of about 5%. When it sees that drop, it would shut your well pump off and rest for a pre-described amount of time. You know what time is best to rest. It might be 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, four hours. Whatever rest you set, that device would rest your well for that amount of time. Also on this system, we give you disconnects for the pressure pump and a disconnect for the solenoid valve. The input side of this system is plumbed through the half inch pipe thread here on the front through a solenoid valve that's controlled by a high float in the tank. When the float drops, the solenoid valve opens and water flows into the system through a needle valve and a flow meter. So with a low yield well of about, let's just hypothetically say one gallon a minute, I might recommend you set that needle valve for a flow rate of a half a gallon a minute. Let's start out very conservative so we don't over pump your well. That's really what we're trying to, to do here is never over pump your well. Um, and then as you get familiar with collection and water usage and re your well recovery, you can make small adjustments either up or down in your collection rate. I've also wanted to show you on the input side, I would recommend a bypass uh, and absolutely necessary is a sediment filter. We need to protect that needle valve from any sediment because the opening of the valve is very small, particles can build up easily in there to clog that valve. So I recommend a sediment filter with a five micron filtration system in it. Simple to install, we have these available if you'd like to purchase one. And this is a bypass system. I've mocked it up out of copper with these metal brackets. That's typically not how it would be done, but this is a mock-up system and I wanted to build something quickly. If you do use copper, you have to remember to use copper brackets to avoid galvanic reaction of those metals, those dissimilar metals. So we have your existing line from your well or from your water conditioning equipment. We break it, put a valve in. We add a feed valve to our system and a return to your home. So with this closed and these valves open, the water is going to move through into our tank and out through our pressure pump to your home. If you wanted to bypass the tank for something like pressure washing your home, we want to save the water that's in this tank so we can shower when we're done or we can do laundry when we're done. So you easily bypass the system, opening up the home. Let's shut off the well watch system and now we're going to deliver water directly to the home from your pressure tank. Good idea to put a bypass in when you install it. So then water is delivered to the home through the consistent pressure module, out through the one inch uh, pipe on the back of the unit with a union fitting that allows that system to be broken on the back if you need to. Not difficult to install. One of the things I really like today is PEX tubing. This happens to be three quarter inch PEX tubing, very similar to the copper tubing in size and volume. And you use that combined with very simple shark bite fittings, no soldering, no, uh, no difficulty in getting these leak free. Um, something I really do a lot of now and I like, to, I like to use the PEX tubing. We have drip or condensation pans that are available for any configuration we do. A cold tank filled with cold water in the summertime high humidity, we're going to get some condensation on the walls of the tank. This drip pan protects from that seeping on the floor. Uh, we put a drain hole in this 
so you can take it to a drain. The other feature that we like to talk about, if you have multiple adults, you have a teenager, they like to use a lot of water. So we might recommend additional tanks for more water storage. If 210 gallons isn't enough, we can add as many of these tanks as needed and combine them with a manifold system. So in that drain in the bottom, we would add a manifold. We would pipe the other tanks together and uh, to increase your water storage. Great idea for emergency water backup to have that additional water storage. On the well watcher, uh, we do not shut the system off in an overflow condition. For a basement application, you may not have to do anything, but I recommend you think about where you want the overflow to go in the event that something were to fail and the system were to overflow. I would take this to a slop drain or a sink drain where it can't do any damage. My name is Dan again with Well Manager. This is our newest system, the Well Watcher. It's been specifically designed and built to be a complement to our well manager system but at a lower price point. So on the economy of scale this is going to give you a lot of features and functions at a lower cost point. I just want to encourage you if you have any questions or any concerns give me a call. I'm happy to talk to you on the phone. I'm happy to take you through this step by step talk to you about installation. We have a great manual for installation and service that's included with every unit. These units are shipped by truck. We typically order a tailgate truck, so this is lowered to the ground at your house and you can move it around with a hand truck. I'm looking forward to our discussions. I'm looking forward to your questions. If you have any, any questions whatsoever, please give me a call and I look forward to talking to you.